Hey, what's up? What's good? What's popping? It's your girl, I am Miss Barry, and I am back today with another video. Guys, you already know, looking at the title, this is a general love reading for the sign Aries. I'm just going to do a quick reading for Aries and your person, just to see what's going on with you in love, just real quick, just to see what's going on with you in your mind, your head, you know, what's been going on. I'm not going to do too much talking, I'm going to jump straight into it. But before we do, guys, be sure to like, comment down below, and hit that red subscribe button, as well as ring that bell, so you guys will be notified every time I upload a video, and you guys won't miss any more of my videos, you know, because I am posting every day, daily, back to back. And I am also bringing in new content, guys, so also stay tuned for that. Alright, I'm just going to do a, a quick little... Let's jump straight into it. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. All right, Spirit, what's going on with Aquarius? I thought I would drop the cards first. What's going on with Aquarius and love? I'm sorry, Aries. Aries, why do I keep saying Aquarius? Oh, because I just did Aquarius reading, y'all. I'm sorry. Aries, Spirit, what's going on with Aries and love? Oops, okay. We have the Nine of Cups with the Strength card. What's going on with Aries and Love, please? Spirit. And we also have the Two of Cups. You guys are like blocking. You guys are blocking love out, Aries. Why are you doing that? You guys are blocking love out. Look at these cups here. They upside down like you pouring love out. Like you don't, you're pouring this love offer out. Like you don't want it. It's like you do want it, but you don't want it. But I feel like it's taking a lot of strength. It's taking a lot of energy to do that. Because it's something that you know that you really don't want to do. You want to be accepting of it. But I feel like you think for some odd reason that this is this. Like, I feel like you made some assumptions about this connection and this person that you came up with in your mind. Based off of how this person could have made you feel. Clarify the Nine of Cups in reverse, please. Spirit. King of Wands, dogmatic, exaggeration, yeah. I feel like you've contemplated on whether or not you was going to take this action. I feel like you, you're you not really ready. You thought she was ready, but you're not really as ready as you thought she was. Like, you just not. What is this? Yeah, we have the Five of Cups. Sadness, lost relationship that I seen. So I feel like, yeah, like I say, this is something that you didn't really want to do. Six of Wands, wait, delayed rewards. Yeah, you feel like that cutting this connection off will benefit you for some reason in some way. Clarify the strength card, please. Spirit. We have unstable. Queen of Cups. Somebody could have broke your heart in the past, Aries. You could have had some a heartbreak or heartbreaks that molded you into the way you are now. This car, I seen it, it popped, and then it popped out back out again. Thank you, Spirit. The three of I'm sorry, my son came in, y'all mid sentence. But the three of swords. It says cautious. Yeah, I feel Aries that. You guys were trying to give this, you was trying to give this love a shot, but I just felt like maybe this connection was just a little unstable. It could have been a, a bit of back and forth between you two, between because all because of mixed emotions. The back and forth I feel came all because of mixed emotions here. And I just feel like your person was taking it easy. I mean, you were taking it easy. I'm sorry, Aries. I feel like you were taking it easy when it came to this connection. It's like you was accepting of it, but you was trying to take it easy. And for some reason, I feel like maybe you dived in because you thought you was ready. 
and then you nearly drowned. You nearly drowned. It was just, it was too much at once for you for some reason. Like, it triggered something. We have the Page of Swords. It says, uncertain, unreliable. You feel like this could, you just feel like you can count on yourself. Like, I feel like your trust level is not high. I feel more like you feel like you can count on, you know you can count on yourself if you can't count on nobody else. Like, you, this connection could have, ooh, this connection just could have, I don't know, Aries. I just feel like, yeah, King of Cups. You have the Queen of Cups here unstable. Then you have the King of Cups here move swings and manipulation. Like, what more do you want? Hold on. What more do you want? The king and the queen here. Unstable and mood swings, though. Y'all definitely, like, yeah. Aries, like, for some reason, like, you just have back and forth mixed emotions about this person. Like, like you're having just, just moments or something. Like, I don't necessarily know why it seems to be that, excuse me, you're just so uncertain about something. Before I do that, let me just see what's going on with your person really quickly. Let me see what's going on with your person. Because if you having, like, unstable emotions here, like, I just only wonder. Yeah, your person is in, your person is going through it. Depression, pain, worry. Like, your person is at a loss right now. Because they're confused, too. They're confused as to what happened, what went on. Like, Eight of Swords. I feel like you guys are not talking. I feel like, I don't know, like, when this person reaches out, I feel like you don't even really communicate back. And if you do, it's it's short. It's very short. We have the three of wands here, vision in the future, teamwork. I feel like your person definitely, definitely already imagined a future with you. Imagine, like, different goals with you, and they're heartbroken. The two of cups. Also, you have the two of cups here twice, both of you guys. I feel like Aries, this this hurts you just as much as it's hurting this person. No, not even just as much. I feel more so like your person is hurting. Actually, no. Both of y'all is hurting because you in this unstable ass energy, this unstable emotion here. The whole time your person is just confused and you know i feel like they could have been dealing with something i mean they they're dealing with something because of this connection like this connection could keep them up at night or they're constantly thinking or maybe they try to reach out and don't really get a response from you know what i'm saying like they're heartbroken they're really heartbroken over this connection and you are too because you felt like you know i had to let this connection go i need to protect this i need to protect that like that's understandable, Aries, at the same time, but you can't just go making assumptions in your head based off another person because you're not ready. Oh, my goodness. What did I say? Terrified. Exactly. You're ter Because you're not ready. <laughs> I love you. Maybe you guys, that's why. Maybe you guys reached a whole new level of emotion or something and that shit scares you. Like I said. And you you back the hell up. Maybe you just was not, you're not ready to go into this energy. It's like you thought you was until it got real. Exactly. I didn't know what to say. It's not even it's not even your person. It's you. Sex addiction. I don't even feel like it's a sex addiction. Addiction, excuse me. Like directly, I feel like it's some type of addiction. It could even be like Aries. You or your person could be highly attracted to each other. Like this could be the person that you just know that this is the only person I'm gonna be attracted to. Like this is my like this is the person that I just know. But at the same time, you chose to sacrifice you chose to sacrifice this connection i need you in your pure love these are things that you wish you could say or your person wishes that they could say to you that they need you in their pure love that they missed talking to you they missed that communication they definitely i do feel like this is 
a powerful connection between you two because <clears throat> if you only knew how much I love you, I love you here twice, like, like, and you got unstable emotions because why? You have unstable emotions because why? I love you. If only you knew how much I look. You love them. They love you. So what is the problem? Like, I understand that you terrify Aries at the same time, but something telling me that this is more so a past life connection, that this is someone that you could have definitely, definitely had a past life connection with. And this is somebody that you have strong emotions for. And you both are heartbroken. I don't understand what you're so, ooh, ooh, what you're so confused about. I'm going to take these. Both of them. A change in the wind. And it says clean it up. I do feel Aries. Like you're going to have a change of heart. I honestly feel Aries that you're going to have a change of heart. All these cars everywhere. It's giving me bad anxiety. Because <laughs> I'm trying to keep them together. But it don't always work that well. So excuse this. I'm sorry y'all. My son is in here. Get out. Get out. I'm sorry, cause I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do my video, and he and here trying to play the game and stuff. And we have Treasure Island also that came out. So yeah, Aries, you know already off back that you struck gold with this person. Out of all of the relationships you could have been in, I feel like that you've come to a point that maybe that you feel like that you you've made a mistake. But I feel like you're not really, you're still a little bit in denial. Like in your mind, you think that how you moved about the situation is right. You think that how you thinking about the situation is correct. Like that's how you thinking. Like can't nobody tell you nothing. You need to be more open-minded. You're being a little bit too closed-minded to this. Because you have a person here that loves the hell out of you. If only you knew how much I love you, I need you and your pure love. Like, this person is highly attracted to you just like you are them, and you love them. So, what is the problem? What's the holdup? Like, you're afraid, but this person is here. This person is here. You're afraid to take that leap. Why? And then we have, it's crazy, because then we have go the distance at the bottom of the dang on deck. Go the distance. Signs are cautioning you. Like, I feel like you know that you should you should speak and reach out to this person, but at the same time, your pride is in the way. Your pride is in the way of what is going on. And until you can get your pride out of the way and get your heart and your mind on the same path, because honestly, I do know that deep down, you know how you feel about this person, that there's definitely love there. And also, at the same time, like, Excuse me, you know that this person loves you. I feel like you just, you're not ready. You ran. It was just, it was too much for you. It brought back too much toxic memories for you. Like it could have been something good, but it could have triggered something toxic because it's like, okay, the last time this happened, this happened. But this is, these are two totally different people, Aquarius. I'm sorry, Aries. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Excuse me, you could be dealing with a water sign, a Cancer Scorpio, Pisces. Either way, it goes, Aquarius. I'm sorry. Shh. Aries, 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 Aries. Okay, either way it go, Aries, you have a person that you feel like you, this is your treasure island. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're going to have a change of heart. So you can disagree with me now, but I feel like you're going to have a change of heart soon. Definitely soon. So guys, that's all I have for you. Take it how it resonates. Be sure to like the video, comment down below and subscribe, you know, because I post every day. So you guys don't miss any more of my videos. I'm also posting new content, like I said earlier in the video. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, guys.